Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about autumn winter luxury bag trends. I am covering everything that I were going to be seeing a lot of in the coming months. So what I think is gonna be super popular as well as the trends that we might be seeing a little bit less of. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being sponsored by my Teresa who have the most beautiful new bag arrivals at the moment. Seriously, just so much eye candy and everything that I'm featuring here today is available from my Teresa.com. So I will include links to everything in the description section. I will also pin everything to a top comment if you did want to check any of these styles out. My Teresa are currently running a new customer offer as well. So you can take 10% off a huge amount of items. Not everything is included, but they have compiled everything that is included into one landing page. So I will link that down below. I have done a whole blog post dedicated to this discount code as well though. Just so many great items. I went through pages and pages, but I've also included some of the items I already own and love in my wardrobe, which are also included in the offer. My baby blue Valentino coat is included. I absolutely love this thing. It is so beautiful. It's like a really, really elegant wrap coat, but it's a bit more tailored and streamlined. So you get the most beautiful silhouette and it's just cut absolutely impeccably. I love it to bits. That one is included in the offer. My beloved Jean Vito Rossi heels are also included and they have so many different varieties from my block heel ones, they have the chestnut ones, they have the navy blue ones, they also have the mid heel stiletto version as well and I saw those in I think again chestnut, green, burgundy, navy, just so many different shades and these are my absolute favourite heels, like I wear them all the time, they are ridiculously comfortable and very much worth a splurge but obviously with the discount code even better. And my Vince cashmere sweater is also included. This is a classic for them. They bring it back year after year. And it's genuinely one of those knits that you'll just be able to get so much wear out of. It is so soft and snuggly and the quality is just gorgeous. But as I said, there are just so many items included. So I'll link that blog post if you wanted to check it out. But I'll also direct link the landing page. You do need uh, different codes of different areas. So I'll list all the details below if you did want to check that out. So the first big trend that I think we're going to be seeing a ton of is Teddy items and this is kind of an all-encompassing category because I think we're going to see it across the board from accessories to clothing and Teddy isn't really something that's super new. I know it's been floating around for the past couple of years but I feel like this year we're just going to see an explosion. Teddy coats are a huge thing and again they've been popular for a while but I think we're going to be seeing a lot of teddy coats. Similarly, that really kind of thick fleece, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of in sweaters in general. Also smaller, more petite accessories. But newer this year, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of them in bags as well. And the two main brands that are doing these are Marc Jacobs and Max Mara. So Max Mara have a slightly more under the radar version. I don't feel like they're known for their really kind of out there designs anyway. Like even if you think about their clothing, it's all very kind of subtle and streamlined and that's really carried through to their accessory line. They're not particularly known for their bags, and I can't really speak to their quality, but I know that the quality of their clothing is out of this world. I just adore their wrap coats, and they really jumped on this kind of teddy trend, seeing it on some of their outerwear, but they really, really brought it through to their bags as well. And I just think they've done it in such a beautiful, fun way. But by far, my favorite way of incorporating this trend is through the Marc Jacobs mini tote line. I am a huge fan of this line. I have been for a few years now, and when I saw they released a whole line of teddy bags, I just couldn't resist. I think they are absolutely adorable. And what I really love about this trend is it is just a little bit more fun and lighthearted. I feel like when it comes to winter, things can get so serious and a little bit heavy and dreary and even luxury in general. I feel like it can take itself a bit too seriously. Whereas this is such a nice way of embracing a trend. You know, it doesn't cost thousands and thousands. It's still a beautifully made style. I just think it's a really, really fun one to look at for the coming colder months. It is also ridiculously comfortable to wear. It is incredibly lightweight. So on the inside, it is just a kind of um, open wide space. It has kind of like a nylon lining and there's no compartments or anything. So you really can maximize that space. It fits an absolute ton. And I do have a more in-depth review of this bag coming along later on in the week as part of a whole kind of autumn bag lineup video. And so I'll show you what can fit inside then, but it is a very substantial amount. The zipper is incredibly smooth as well. 
and then you have that beautiful plush teddy coating all the way throughout with that the tote Marc Jacobs sign right in the front there. You do have a shoulder strap as well, it's fully adjustable so you can choose whether to wear it higher or lower, really really flexible. And I just think this is adorable, like so super cute, it is so great to wear and I just absolutely love this trend. All about the teddy styles and I think doing it in a bag style is just such a fresh way of incorporating the trend into your wardrobe. The next trend is puffer bags and I know this is nothing new, it's been around for a few years now but if anything I feel like it's going from strength to strength and I think we're going to see even more bag styles kind of incorporating this trend this year and I for one could not be happier about it because I love this trend. You may know this if you watch me for a while but I love puffer bags, I think they're so fun and gorgeous and I really do feel like we have to credit Saint Laurent for this because they came out with their black puffer bag, I want to say it was like three, maybe four years ago and since then you know they've released a ton more options and styles. I think other brands have really just kind of jumped on that bandwagon and I just think it's so fun. So I have my newest puffer bag right here. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the same one as my nude one. This is in the small size. I'll direct link the exact one that I have in the description section. You can also get the larger size as well, but having owned all the sizes at this point, this one is definitely my favorite. I just feel like it's the most wearable. It's the most versatile. It really can go very seamlessly from a day to night. And I just love it to bits. My nude one in my collection is probably one of my most used bags like I wear it all the time and I love the fact that I do think it's suitable kind of for summer I wear it in spring autumn and I'm fully planning on wearing it in winter as well like it really is an all-year-round bag this particular color combination though I absolutely adore I think it is so beautiful the color is the nicest shade of brown I think I've ever seen. It's like a really, really rich cognac color. And the hardware, which is this really pretty, it's like a vintage gold, um, so it's not super shiny. It has a really nice tone to it. And I think it complements the cognac brown shade just so beautifully. I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. Like if autumn was a bag, I feel like it would be this one. The leather quality is absolutely gorgeous. Like that's really a hallmark of the Saint Laurent puffer line. It is so plush and luxurious. And if anything, I feel like the leather is even softer on this one than it is on my nude one. They just seem to be improving upon it year after year. But even though it is crazy soft, it's also very durable as well. So. I am full on obsessed with this bag, I could not be happier about it, just the dreamiest colour and I am so so happy that the puffer bag trend is here today. And then the other brand doing this trend which I am really really excited about is Loewe and I have not seen this bag in person but if you have please let me know in the comment section because I am actively considering the style. It is so gorgeous, they've released a whole line of these kind of a square puffer bag so I guess it's a bit more similar to maybe my mulberry puffer bag um, in terms of the overall shape it has a very very delicate kind of jewelry like handle and then it has that beautiful Loewe symbol right on the front I've seen this in a whole bunch of colors so they do this beautiful rose pink color they do a camel they have it in black and I think one or two others just absolutely stunning. Um, I've not really had too much experience with Loewe before though, so if you have seen this style, please let me know in the comment section. I am super intrigued by it. I think it is just gorgeous. The next trend, and to be honest, I'm not even sure I really call it a trend because we do see this one year after year. So in my head, this is 100% a firmly a classic, but it is warm camel and chestnut tones. Like whenever we come to the colder months, approaching autumn, winter, we just see all the shades get a lot warmer and a lot cozier and chestnut and camel always just fail safe. So when it comes to this time of year, obviously the two bags I showed so far, my Marc Jacobs one and my Saint Laurent one, kind of do double duty in terms of touching upon two trends and it also just shows you the kind of variation you can get like I would definitely consider both these within that same color family you have the beautiful Marc Jacobs one which is more of like a light beige camel color um, whereas the Saint Laurent one a really beautiful rich chestnut but definitely still in that same family and there are just so many brands doing this from Bottega to so much Saint Laurent like there are just a ridiculous number of Saint Laurent styles that really incorporate those beautiful rich tones. Loewe have also done a whole range of camel tones just seriously so much to choose from and just so many beautiful colors for the coming colder months. 
The next trend is a bit more a newer one for this year, but it is matching hardware. So I feel like we first saw this with that kind of all black trend a few years ago. But since then, the hardware has gone a lot more, I guess, matte looking and really matching to the color regardless of what the color is. And I have seen so many different brands do this. I've noticed Loewe do it on some of their styles, so really matching the hardware to the leather type. Saint Laurent have been doing a few styles as well. I feel like Saint Laurent can sometimes veer a little bit more towards edgy as well. And the combination of the matching hardware really makes them just very fashion forward looking and very, very cool looking. And I've also seen Gucci do this with their Marmont line, especially their mini styles. So really matching the hardware to the leather type as well as Christian Louboutin as well. Louboutin have done it in a little bit more of a subtle way. Um, so they've gone for more of kind of like a nude color palette and then just matching that hardware to the leather. Really, really cool trend. I do think it is a little bit more edgy. So if your style is super classic and you might not like this one, um, but if you do like your bags with a little bit of edge, I think this is a really, really fun one. And we're just seeing it across a ridiculous number of brands. The next trend is textured bags, and this is really calling upon kind of different types of fabric as opposed to just going for a leather option. And this is from kind of just very simple fabric styles right through to shirling bags, which we're seeing a ton of. I have dipped my toes in the water with my Saint Laurent Jamie. So this one is a fabric style, even though I feel like from afar it could look like leather, but it is a fabric one. I've had this a little while now and I absolutely adore it. It's a really, really fun style. Very very similar indeed to the Chanel Mini, but at a much more accessible price point and much easier to get as well. But I think it's adorable. It just opens up like so with that adorable YSL clasp and the capacity is pretty much identical to the Chanel Square Mini if you're familiar with that. It does have a leather lining as well. One simple pocket at the back there and then it just snaps closed. I love the different ways to wear this one as well. I like the fact you can wear it just with the single strap. You can wear it doubled up. You can wear it cross body. Really, really versatile and it's just absolutely adorable and it's really got me hooked on kind of fabric bags. I think it's such a nice alternative to leather. It also means that the bag is a lot lighter as well and I just think this one is gorgeous. Within this category though, a huge, huge subsection is shirling bags. And I don't remember ever seeing so many shirling bags in any new arrival section, but it seems like every other style is shirling. And this is right from a kind of full on shirling bag to just a delicate trim. Saint Laurent have done a few different styles within this kind of shirling trend from smaller bags right through to their backpacks. Stella McCartney have also been doing this as well. Jacquemus have done a couple of styles out as well, Marnie, just so many different brands and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure I'm going to be trying this trend myself just because I feel like this is very, very winter specific, whereas I like the fact that with my Saint Laurent Jamie, I can still wear it in summer if I want to. But if you wanted something that really encompassed winter in all its glory, Sherling is just a gorgeous one to go for. And last but not least, it is multi-chain bags. And I'm not talking here about a longer strap and a shorter one, but more different styles of strap or chain on a single bag. So here it's usually a nylon or a leather strap, along with a fancier, more delicate chain strap as well. And I love this trend. I think anything that makes a bag more functional and versatile is just fantastic because you're just getting so much more bang for your buck. And I have been seeing so many more brands do this style of bag from Marc Jacobs with their adorable kind of white shoulder bag. I've also seen Gucci do this. Givenchy have also released a bag incorporating this trend as well. And it is so beautiful. I feel like Givenchy's new arrivals at the moment are just gorgeous. They have so many intricate new designs and they've really incorporated that multi-chain option. Again, just giving you more versatility and really allowing you to wear your bag with just so many more outfits. And now for the trends that I think we're going to be seeing a little bit lesser than, I would point out that just because we're seeing less brands kind of produce these trends, doesn't mean that, you know, the style of bag is dead and I own pretty much all of these myself and I have no intention of stopping wearing these bags because I like them all. Um, but in terms of the trends that I think we have been seeing a lot of recently and that we're just seeing less of now, 
number one really large bags and I'd say it isn't even kind of that oversized style but generally speaking I think the mini bag trend has just taken over everything and the vast majority of new styles I'm seeing do tend to be on the smaller side. I absolutely love mini bags so I'm not necessarily super upset about that um, but I do still also really love my larger bags and I have no intention of giving up my totes or kind of my larger functional shoulder bags but I'm definitely seeing still a absolute focus on mini bag styles really neglecting more larger bags in general. The next trend that I am very sad to see isn't quite as popular, but it is mock croc. And I feel like mock croc probably had like a good few years of just being super popular when it came to the colder months. I have mine here in the Givenchy Antigona, um, but I have a few bags of mock croc and I have no intention of getting rid of or stopping wearing this bag. I actually kind of went through my whole collection, really revisiting styles and thinking whether I wanted to include them in my bag sale. I looked at this style because I didn't wear it much last year and I know it's not super practical for a baby but I just think it's too gorgeous like I just can't give this one up and I don't even mind that I'm not seeing mock croc that much I personally think it's a beautiful classic style I think there's a place for mock croc in everyone's collection so definitely not one that we're seeing too much of in terms of the new arrivals but I personally still love it and have every plan to keep on wearing this one. And then last but not least, the last trend, which we're definitely seeing a little bit less of than we were, is really large logos and logo prints. And I know we were definitely going this way and I feel like it's kind of similar to backpacks in that it is, it feels a little bit more casual in terms of the overall look. There was a moment in time when I felt like every bag was just coming out emblazoned with logos, just logos everywhere, you know, massive prints just encompassing the entire bag it seemed. Whereas I've really seen a reduction in that, you know, the designs that we're seeing at the moment seem to be a lot more design led and a lot less logo led, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. I think the focus on how you actually wear the bag and getting more bang for your buck is a much more positive thing to focus on than just having big logos everywhere. Um, but I did think that we would see a lot more of it. Um, and so I'm a bit surprised it's died down so quickly, but I can't say I'm totally obsessed about this one because if things are more design led, I just think it's more kind of customer led in general. So. Not totally sad, um, definitely a little bit surprising. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As promised, I will include links to everything I featured, as well as the details for that discount code in the description section below. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. If you enjoyed the video, please do give us a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. I don't know how, oh, how you do it. You blow my